Perfect. So, uh, hi, I'm Jason Parrish. Uh, we're here at CES 2012, and I'm showing the all-new ThinkPad X1 Hybrid. It's a product that we just announced uh, earlier this week. Well, what ThinkPad X1 Hybrid is, it's based on the ThinkPad X1, which uh, started launching, or launched earlier in 2011, uh, which is a high-performance Windows 7-based notebook with full Core i processors, a lot of Lenovo unique innovations like rapid charge batteries, so it can charge up to 80% in just 30 minutes. So real, some really nice features. We partnered with Corning to put Gorilla Glass, so this is a scratch resistant surface here on a notebook, one of the first of its kind. Um, and also put in features that were designed for a kind of a 24-7 lifestyle, like um, great audio, partnered with Dolby, but also, you know, built for business because it's ThinkPad. So on that note, we're introducing a new feature on the ThinkPad X1 Hybrid called Instant Media Mode. And what Instant Media Mode is, is it's a, it's a feature designed for that, again, that 24-7 lifestyle of work and play. And it allows you to switch in, into a content consumption type of mode uh, and double your battery life. Now, in that, we're actually uh, going to an alternate operating system. We're powering Windows completely down. The whole system is powered down. And on a small chip, we're running instant media mode. And that chip is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon. It has its own storage. It's basically like a smartphone or tablet on a, on a system, system on a chip. So I'm gonna show you here uh, from the instant media mode launcher, I hope you can see it well. Uh, I'm gonna move into win from Windows into Android, or it's actually into open source Linux, which is loosely based on Android in about uh, one and a half seconds. Windows is now asleep. So I can watch videos, do email, listen uh, to music, browse the web, and I'm doing it at double the battery life. It takes about a minute to catch up, but you'll eventually see your battery life on uh, metrics uh, increase here as it recalculates. So as an example, we'll go into watch, and you'll notice this launcher is very similar to what you're going to see on other uh, Lenovo products. Yeah, like the, uh, the S2 phone, I was messing with that yesterday. Exactly. So we're going to come in here, launch a movie. It's going to ask me about resuming play, so we'll do that. And so we're doing 720p video. So you can imagine you're on an airplane. You're on an airplane and, uh, and you want to get the most out of your battery and without carrying extra batteries or something like that. This way it's a medium mode really steps in and gives you a unique value. So I'm going to exit out of instant media, uh, exit out of the video player, go back to my home. Um, the, this system also has its own wireless card, so that's how you're able to, even though we'd be powered down the, the, the native wireless, it has its own wireless controller as well, so that you can do browse the web and email. Um, so what now what I'm going to show you is that we're going to go back into Windows, and that, that one in, about one and a half second switch, you're going to see us the same thing as we go back into Windows. So I'm going to hit exit media, instant media mode. It's going to ask me, am I sure? Say yes. In about one and a half seconds, you're back in Windows. So if you imagine, um, there's been products in the past that have had um, dual OSs, and, and you, know, you typically will have to make that decision at boot. But when we talk to users, most people don't like to reboot their machine. I, I power off my Windows-based uh, PC about every two months. <laughs> when I decide I want to, I, it's, it's been too long since I've done a system update. So and that's really one of the unique value propositions here is that you can switch between these operating systems and you can do it um, at your leisure without having to reboot your PC. So that's a little bit of an overview of the ThinkPad X1 Hybrid, uh, available in second quarter of 2012. Uh, starting price right now is uh, targeted to be around $1599. Thank you.